Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria 2, the Super Nations mod is the new Roman Empire. We are currently at war with the Ottomans and Spain and Britain, or not Britain, sorry, uh, America. Um, we do, by the way, actually have uh, the Franco-British Union formed. I guess France is feeling threatened and so that happened. There should be an event um, sort of a claiming such rel oops sorry relatively soon uh, one of these months but we are also going to be finishing our war up here fairly soon as well um let's see what do we not want a spanish war on right <clears throat> yes i have one ship i could go ahead and wipe out the ship U.S. wants peace, but of course that is not going to happen. Because we will be doing a... No. We actually already have that. We're just going to get our war goal there. Um, as far as Persia goes... We can actually start focusing on them now. So, 0. 0.562. Let's just keep increasing opinions here. Um, 0.583 is really not that bad as far as the amount. And they're allied with Russia, or in Russia's sphere, right? Uh, okay, you and Fez, we actually pretty much have all this occupied. So I'm going to send you back down. Right there is fine. Um, as far as here goes, you're going there. You are just standing here. How about we send you this way? You this way. Actually, you're already going there. Uh, maybe up to here. I imagine Spain should be piecing out relatively soon. We don't have any uh, diplomatic points, though. A little annoying, but there's not much we can do there. Uh, you are also going to attack them. Along with these armies. And now we're done here. So you can go down here. <sighs> yeah, Germany should be able to take this because France is not a thing. Though Britain may end up taking that. In fact, Britain is a powerhouse with this. They are well ahead of me at this point. A lot of industry in their military is also much higher. So what can we do about this? I think, yeah, Anglo, Canadian, French, British. Um, we can start building more armies. That's one thing. It shouldn't be too hard. One, two, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Which is what, yeah, so we're gonna try building as much army as possible. And it looks like we should have enough troops. So we're probably gonna have to go ahead and focus our, all of our national focuses are going to be strictly um, based around trying to build a larger military. So I'm like doing two things at once right now. So that is good. We'll make sure that we're picking up units to send back here anyways with our Navy. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to go to war against the Franco-British Union, who's right after this. Incoming call. Gonna ignore that important they'll leave a message um so here well i'm gonna keep you there we're attacking this army let's just go ahead and jump back in see if we can wipe them out huh. 
And the US will give us our war goal. At this point, it's probably fine. We're just going to wait until um, the Spanish give up. Oh, now we're contesting it against uh, the British. That's not fun. I think I already knew that, didn't I? So we just lost Jerusalem. This one is fine. In fact, all those should be fine. You can head down. No. Because you have plus, or you know, you don't have any attack at all either. You have plus two attacks. That's decent, but still. So I'm gonna just keep you here. Maybe they'll attack us. But we should have. No, we actually don't have taking war score yet for it. Because we lost all of this territory. But now that we have these two units, there's plus three attack general right there. Um, I would feel comfortable actually engaging them. For the 19th. So let's do that. And it looks like they actually did attack. No, we attacked them right there. They just reinforced. So let's do something like that with Spain. Take more time, I guess. But all of these should be, yeah, they're all 100%. Just gonna be a little bit of a waiting game. That's plus two attack. Are you, you are also plus two attack. The morale bonus is pretty minuscule. So I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Looks like we wiped out that army completely. Uh, they'll get there on the 10th of March. Let's go to wipe that army out as well. Oh yeah, look at that. And now they're heading over here. We'll actually get there before they do. So we'll get the plus two defense. Bonus plus perhaps a river crossing. Yep, we got a river crossing. That army was stack wiped. And they have only 47 brigades now. Um, as far as Persia goes, it doesn't look like Russia is actually defending them for the most part. So that's good. Um, here, I'm actually just start pulling the armies back a little bit. It's not too much of a reason to have them around anymore. On that front, at least. And why were these troops damaged? We best sent them back already. I don't remember. And no, that's not going to happen. In fact, we could. No, they still won't accept. How about now? It should be over the threshold. Nope, the 61%. So the only areas that we need to occupy at this point are just these ones. We're about to take Aleppo. There we go. Uh, canned food. We can take that. I thought that said 532 for a second there. Um, how are our national focuses looking? That is a lot of railroads. Can we just minimize that? Province constructions. Up here, right? I don't care too much about constructions in general. Or even our army and navies. I think so either. This is a lot better of a screen to have, a lot more compact. 
Um, let's see. Pretty much all of them can be switched. I might hold back on Granada as well as Toscana and Venetia, but everywhere else, yeah. So Sicily, Lombardia, uh, I think I'll take that one out as well. But all these other ones, let's go to put some uh, increased soldier pops there. Um, all of them are actually much fine except for Rone. Rone, well, no, all of them are not fine except for Rone. So for Rone, we can go ahead and focus on Galicia. Which is still already pretty much high. Let's do Catalonia. A lot of, uh, well, they're not Spanish troops anymore because it's all new Roman cores. But we're going to need a big army if we want to take on the Franco-British Union. That is just uh, a fact there. So military military tactic 75%. Do we have any other benefits for us? The Roman legions? Yeah, our military tactics is plus 100%. And Roman legions, of course, doesn't say exactly what it does. Um, I think if we go over here, yeah, leadership plus 2, land organization plus 35%. Uh, land unit attack and land unit defense is also plus 20%. Which I do like. And here in Timbuk 2, let's go ahead and keep focusing there. Um, I think we are building naval bases, are we not? Well, regardless, we can build even more. It probably won't be done until at the earliest in three years. And it's all our money. But that should be at least be all of our little core areas. Which, once this becomes a Roman lake, is going to be well defense, defended. Uh, Spain, will you peace out yet? Nope. So I guess we'll just wait. And from Jerusalem, let's move... Probably just Jirash? No. Yeah, Jirash. And you can go over to Nablus. How's Israel doing? 842,000 pops. It's definitely increasing. And Persia, we can go ahead and increase our opinion here. So now we're cordial. And down here, move up to Damascus. Um, I'm trying to think where else. Probably all is fine. See, now we're getting taken war score. Yeah, let's run it. Let's do the Olympics. And from here, you can probably stay here. Or maybe both of you should just move in on that uh, Ottoman army. For some reason, our supplies, or I guess our supplies are not all the way up. Maybe that's why we're losing men in their territory. It feels like at least. And move on to Homs. Yeah, that's literally it. I don't see anywhere else. There's already this, but we got all of that. We've already occupied all of this. 
So I don't know why it's... Was that 80%, I guess? And there's still those... Just these two provinces, right? And on tap. Occupation. So I'm trying to think, because once we peace out, it's going to be a lot of war score will drop. But it might be good to just keep on with the Ottoman territory. So we'll take this, and then we go to Hama. And that should be fine. It's at 87. Uh, maybe you two... We're going to cast a mono. So you go up here. You can go here. And build a sort of a defensive line there. Just kind of keep them off our backs. The Franco British Union is probably because they have a truce against just with me. Um, they may go and we can move against Germany. Because Germany, yeah, Germany's pretty weak right now. I don't think you'll be able to do much against the Franco British Union. Their allies are pretty weak too. So if they really want to do something, the Franco British Union could totally run over Germany at the moment. Eighty-eight, still no. Ottomans is at seventy-nine. Yep, that is the event I was talking about. So the rise of the Franco-British Union, due to the increasing threat posed by the expanding New Roman Empire, uh, the British and French, through backdoor meetings, have agreed to unite their two expansive empires into a new superpower: the Franco-British Union. Uh, will this spell doom for the new Roman Empire, or has another aggressor announced itself to the world stage? A surprising event, indeed. Indeed. It's only at 85%. I feel like we have, we own all the cores, don't we? I guess it's over here. We should go ahead and try grabbing right now. Uh, Persia. Let's go ahead and increase our opinion again. Oops. I have to keep that on there. And I think we'll be able to get Persia. All right, 93 war score, they still won't accept. All right, let's go ahead and attack them. So 17th of December, we'll wait. They're all moving there. Let's start wiping out the Ottomans. We have a just a one attack. That's fine though. And you just move on to here. We'll send these forces on tip. And now we have those two islands, which now it's eighty eight percent. The only other area would be on tap, which we will take momentarily. Or not, you do that, and then you go over here. Ninety-eight 
98 war score. Okay, there we go. They'll accept. Uh, of course, we'll keep everything we gained. So now we own all of Morocco. And Spain is a uh, small boy. All they have is basically Cuba down here. And the Philippines. Which I know the US might get a Castellar to go move against the Philippines fairly soon. I think it's around 1900 they get that. Uh, let's grow our population even more. I feel like that's our biggest next step. Is to go ahead and pass some of those social reforms. That's 89 war score. So we have to negotiate the US at this point. But uh, we're only 89%. So we should pass by fairly quickly. Uh, war score from battles is already at plus 50. Uh, impressionism, social science. Let's see here. I think in market regulations. So we get more influence when it comes to trying to get people in our sphere. So we're going to need that when it comes to getting all these areas under our control. And let's go ahead and split you guys up a little bit. We're about to grow pretty massively. Are we taking debt? Maybe a little bit. I would not be surprised there. Yeah, it looks like we are. Yep. It's probably fine for the time being. Actually, let's go ahead and just decrease our maintenance on our armies a little bit. Just a little bit, though. Not too much. Still won't accept. I'm kind of curious if the Battle War score carries over from one uh, peace deal to the next, or if it just applies to who was already in the battle. So if we're to separate peace, the US, or add a war goal against the US to um, get reparations. Would that mean if we piece out the Ottomans that we keep the Battle War score, or does that mean that we lose it? Because that will make it a war a lot longer, and I wouldn't want to do that. But if I could keep that 50 Battle War score, that would be ideal. And we could actually get some money out of this. Because right now, I think we're making, we're making 294. I forget who we did that to. We did that to somebody. And Suez Canal, thank you. And from the US, they're still not willing. Nope. Now keep an eye on the Franco British Union. Once the Francos or the British go to war, I will likely go ahead and. Uh, and uh, attack them. The US is at 12.63 already. Uh, pop supplies. Okay, take our cores. So we gotta keep everything we've gained or give back this portion. Which I'm actually leaning towards doing. Just so we're going to give it to the Persians later. Let's see. So only keep course with our... Yeah, return the rest. There we go. We got it. Uh, Bulgaria, actually... Well, they're allied to Russia unfortunately but we do want that territory there which Russia might not be too hard to fight against 
when it comes down to it. But look at this. We have basically almost combined our entire empire around the Mediterranean. Uh, we can organize a ton of these places. So in fact, we can organize Libya. Uh, organize Lebanon. Create Jerusalem, so King Jerusalem will gain all his core. And claim Morocco. Uh, thing with Jerusalem is that it's no longer capable of being the state of Israel because... Well, Israel's down here. That works out. Uh, let's go ahead and invest in our colony down here. So now it's at 13, or no, 17 actually. And yeah, they're losing colonial power pretty quickly. Um, it kind of depends on whether... Actually, where are they spending it? It seems like they have everywhere under control. Those well, are some like islands being contested still. Which I guess is possible. Uh, the US does have Hawaii. Back to Hawaii, or US looks pretty much just like it did in our timeline. Of course, they don't have Africa or Alaska. But I don't see anywhere else they're investing. They're probably only investing here, meaning that they have a lot less ports than me. Or I just gained a lot of ports too. That's probably it. So you remove them from the Russia's sphere. At 0.637. And once we have Persia, we can go ahead and move forward with our plan to turn them into a vassal and subjugate the east. But we need all of our cores still. So that is a thing. Yeah, that's a thing. Which will require us going to war against the Franco-British um, with Spain again. So probably until not until 1900 will we actually be able to get this piece. And the British here, they have a truce thus till this year, 12th of July. So it could be worthwhile to attack Bulgaria, get this land from Russia and peace Russia out before they're able to go to war against us again. As well as start stationing troops along the border. But I think we would take, we'd move into uh, POW right away, if that were the case. Because you have two attack, you have two defense. Let's see, and that's fine. Alright, anyways, so we're probably going to end this episode here. So, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. As always, please leave a like down below and consider subscribing if you would like to see more content just like this and more frequent uploads. If you have any suggestions, go ahead and leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time.